Welcome to The Other Three Years, a show for anyone who has an Olympic-sized dream they want to turn into a reality. Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of The Other Three Years. So this week, I'm doing something kind of fun for the podcast. So yeah, I'm going to share just some of my favorite things. And I guess they're kind of like recommendations or they're just things I like. When one of my producers, Catherine, gave me this idea, the song from The Sound of Music just kept playing through my head. And honestly, when I was coming up with these things, that song just kept coming up in my head again and again. So honestly, like I might have to go watch The Sound of Music after this. I'm not really sure. But before I get into all of that stuff... I just wanted to share a little bit about what's going on in my training right now. So I'm still in Sarasota, Florida, and we're still in this kind of two-week period before official selection camp starts next week. So things are still a little bit more relaxed, but not totally relaxed. But I am feeling a little bit better um, still, you know, on the mend. So that's good. And, you know, just feeling more excited to be training and just happy to be here and getting the opportunity to train right now and just making the most of every day because that's what we've got to be doing right now. So it helps. The water's been pretty nice recently, so that's really nice. Things have been looking up a little bit still in our Airbnb, which is nice. Nice to, you know, change it up every once in a while. And We've been cooking a little bit more, which is kind of fun, especially had been in the hotel and it was so great that we didn't have to cook that much, but sometimes you kind of miss cooking. So what else has happened? Oh, I finished my most recent book, which was called Malibu Rising. Last summer, my mom gave me all these books. I'm totally blinking on the author's name, but the woman that wrote like Daisy Jones and the Six, and that was my last one of hers. And I thought it was pretty good, actually. They're I call them like beach reads. I'm not sure what the actual name of that genre is, but if you're looking for a casual fun read, I would recommend it. And now I have kind of more serious books on my bedside table, but I think I only have like one more book that I actually have with me right now that I haven't read. So I'm coming up on needing book recommendations. So if anybody has any, please let me know. So we're just training and I'm reading and working and that's kind of it. But now it is time for me to share some of my favorite things. So I broke these down into genres because that made sense in my mind. So my first genre is food. I, first of all, love food. I feel like food just might be my favorite thing. But obviously, as many listeners of the podcast know, I love oatmeal toast. It's my breakfast go-to. I literally eat oatmeal on toast. I usually get like more quick cook oats. I cook them in the microwave. I toast the toast. I put maple syrup in the oatmeal, butter on the toast. And then I put like a bite of um, oatmeal on the toast and eat it like that. It's really good. I started doing it because the summer that I rode at Craftsbury, I always used to eat oatmeal in the morning and at Craftsbury, the bread, they make homemade bread and it was just so good. I couldn't not eat it. So I just added it to my breakfast. And then to make it a little bit quicker, I just ate it on top. And then I realized that like my workouts were only getting a little bit better because I was fueling up. So it has just stuck. And I've honestly been eating oatmeal toast for a long time. I have at times eaten these sweet potato breakfast cookies that are also really good from the run fast, eat slow cookbook that I would really recommend. But yeah, right now I'm on a real oatmeal toast kick. Some of my other favorite foods. <laughs> I love donuts. I'm literally wearing a Union Square donut sweatshirt right now. Shout out to them. They have some of the best donuts I've ever had in my life. Funnily enough, I actually think one of the other best donuts I've had is from the Peachy's Baking Company in Sarasota, Florida, which is right here. I also love chocolate chip cookies, soft serve ice cream, really any dessert. Those like molten lava chocolate cakes. Oh. And then, yeah, I also thought it'd be fun to share like some snacks for rowing. So a lot of people are really into snacks while working out. I'm not. I do bring a snack, like a scratch chews or a fruit snacks or something like that, like a gummy for emergencies, <laughs> which I don't really know what the emergency would be, but maybe if I get hungry, very occasionally I do get hungry, usually because I ate that oatmeal toast 
I'm not that hungry. I do also put scratch, which is like Gatorade or whatever in my water. And that has some calories and electrolytes and stuff. So I'd recommend that, but I'm also not that good at drinking water during practice or drinking my drink. So I try to like chug it on the dock after to, you know, get it all back. My next topic of my favorite things is culture (laughs) is what I named it. So I'd say my favorite book, and I'm not sure exactly if this is true, but I did love the book Open by Andre Agassi. So I think I'm going to go with that. My favorite movie is Ocean's Eleven. Such a good movie. My favorite TV show forever has been Gilmore Girls. I really think it's like why I went to Yale. But a secondary shout out to The Bear more recently, which I was on Hulu and the second season just came out. And honestly, it was so good. Like such a good show. Some of the best episodes of television I've seen. Although I will say, I think the best episode of television I've ever seen, and I have said this to people before, was the finale of the TV show Girls, which was on HBO. And I honestly only started watching it because one of the main characters, this girl, Allison Williams, who I did, don't know at all, but she went to Yale and I thought that was cool. And so I watched it, but the finale was just like so good. I mean, it was amazing. Um, my favorite song is the song Closing Time by the band Semisonic. I love that song. The fun bar in college. It's called Box and it's closed now, which is sad, but they always ended the night by playing New York, New York and Closing Time, like tandem. So I like that combo of songs, but I really, I could listen to the song Closing Time again and again. I also really like Bonnie Raitt's song, Angel from Montgomery. So that's a close second. Okay. Some of my favorite clothing items. I have talked about it on the podcast before, but I do love Skims. That's a definitely a highlight, as I've said. I bought more skims. I didn't just get the stuff that they gave us at the Olympics. It's really top quality. And honestly, if you're going to buy underwear from anybody, why not buy it from Kim Kardashian? That's just all I have to say about that. I love Costco wool socks. I love wool socks in general. I wear them year round. I don't like ankle socks at all. I like socks that go up a little bit higher. And wool socks, yeah. I just don't want to have cold feet. And like for rowing, my feet, they dry. So it really makes a lot of sense. Um, I love Chacos. I have like choco slides as well as choco sandals 10 out of 10 like a great company great sandals i couldn't recommend them more they're so comfortable but they're also practical i don't think they're ugly yeah right now the u.s team has been sponsored by 776 the rowing company and i i like their stuff i like all my 776 unis Yeah, no complaints there. I got a merino wool quarter zip from them at the head of the Charles this year. That is a great clothing item. So I'd say that might be actually my favorite thing. Uh, Just an overall, (laughs) overall thing I like is overalls. (laughs) And I just thought that would be fun to mention. And then just another honorary mention to Madewell jeans. I just really like jeans from the company Madewell. They're made very well. And I don't know, they just fit really nicely a great company because they not only have tall sizing, they have something called taller sizing. That's for really, really tall people like me. And that's just really nice. Like I want clothes to fit me appropriately. Um, okay. Things that I like, I'm just going to blanket say that I like water bottles (laughs) because I do. And I love my Stanley, which I know I said was a hydro flask on the show, which is embarrassing but it is a Stanley. I also love my Nalgene. I also love my sports bottle. I like them all. What can I say? I also love my Whoop. I have a Whoop. I've had it for many years. I love it. I love that it's a Boston company. I love that it's not constantly telling you on your wrist throughout the day, like buzzing and reminding and all this stuff. And I love that it's not comparing me to other people. It's just comparing me to myself. So this is a fitness wearable that tracks everything. You'd never take it off. So it tracks your sleep. It tracks you during the day. It's your heart rate, your HRV, all this stuff, your stress, your workouts, and it just gives you overall scores of everything. And I will say, I think anything like this, you have to take with a grain of salt. But for me, it's been really helpful and really just great in my training and knowing when to push, when to step back, how I'm responding to things. I'm a big fan. I also love my AirPods. <laughs> I, I do. I love them so much. Great invention, Apple. And I love my gravel bike. I got a gravel bike in the fall that I bought as my commuter 
because I don't gravel bike quite yet. And I have it here and I've been riding it from our Airbnb over to the course every afternoon, which is like a six mile ride. So it's not nothing. And it's just, I love it so much. It's orange, which I was a little anti like the color scheme when I first got it. But honestly, riding my bike makes me so happy and commuting on my bike makes me so happy. It's been a real highlight of this year. Okay, my next little segment is apps, phone apps. So I love the Headspace app. I try to do some mindfulness every day. I try to do some earlier in the day. I do do it before bed, which is really great and helpful. I think it also helps me when I do it earlier in the day and practice at it, you know, really helps me, really helps me clear my mind and just especially when things are going really crazy and my mind's going like a million miles a minute being practiced in my mindfulness is just really helpful and I like the guided classes I know some people don't like the the guidance that Headspace gives but I really like it my favorite game that I play on my phone is 2048 although I will say I literally only play it when I'm either on a rowing trip or on an airplane or something. I don't play it like normally. And my favorite um, social app is definitely Instagram. I don't really use any of the other social apps. Actually, I'm sorry to say, but I deleted Be Real because I was annoyed. I was annoyed that it kept sending me notifications. (laughs) So now I'm going to talk about some favorite podcasts. So some of the other podcasts that I listen to are My Favorite Murder. I listen to The Daily, which I don't know if that's really a favorite, but I do listen to it. I love The Ritual podcast. I love Dirtbag Diaries. And I, li- I do try to listen to as many other rowing podcasts as I can find. So I lis- I've listened to The Row Show. I've listened to Amanda Krause's The Swing of Things. I've listened to The Four Stars podcast. And I've listened to Sean Wolf's podcast. So, And when rowers are on like other podcasts, I try to listen. So... It's been fun. I think it's great that there are growing podcasts out there. And a special shout out because right now I've been listening to this podcast called The Big Dig that's about The Big Dig. So if you don't know what The Big Dig is, it was this highway project or not just highways, like tunnels and stuff project in Boston that has been called like the biggest fail of a public works project ever. Although some of it was successful and it happened like literally my whole childhood the big dig was just happening forever (laughs) and it was a huge inconvenience people talked about it all the time so it's been kind of fun listening to the podcast about it and it's really well done so I've been enjoying it I would recommend it I like it so yeah those are some of my favorite things I guess some of my other favorite things are like coffee I didn't mention that hiking being outside the water. I do love the water. I can have inspiration of this nice sailboat picture behind me. And, you know, my friends and family, obviously. Yeah. I hope that everyone enjoyed some of my favorite things. So to end the show this week, I am going to share a quote from this book that my mom gave me that's called You Are Amazing. So the back says, nobody's quite like you. There's so much that's great about you, so much that's worth honoring and cherishing. This little book of quotes is full of words of gratitude and appreciation that will make you recognize and remember that you are amazing. Is that not the nicest thing ever? So I'm going to end the show with this quote from Dr. Seuss. That says, you have to be odd to be number one. (laughs) So I hope that you all have a great week and I'll see you next time. Thanks for listening. Bye. I'd love to hear from you. So send us a topic suggestion or if you'd like to submit a question for our Ask Christy Anything segment, head to our website, theother3years.com. 